So I know a couple of you guys are using your um, phone for these calculator problems. So I have an iPhone, so I, if you have an Android, I'm sorry, but I can't help you figure out how to use that. But to use your iPhone calculator, before we go ahead and jump into actually using it, I wanted to kind of do a quick refresh on the actual material itself, because knowing the material a little better is going to make it easier to use the calculator. So this week is talking about pH and pOH and their relationship as well as the relationship between pOH and the hydroxide concentration as well as the hydronium concentration. So hydronium you're going to see two different ways. It could be H plus or H3O plus. So make sure you're comfortable with that. You're going to see it both ways. So these are the same thing, uh, just written different ways. So between these different um, variables, you're going to see that there are specific equations you're going to use to get from one to the other. The easiest one, in my opinion, is between pH and pOH. It can go either way between those two, and it's pH plus pOH equals 14. The other equations are a little bit more difficult. So with these ones, it's kind of like train tracks. It really depends which way you're going. So if you're going from hydronium to pH to pOH to OH, you're going to use different equations depending on what you're going from. So for instance, from pOH to OH or hydroxide, you're going to do the hydroxide concentration is equal to 10 to the power of negative pOH. The lucky thing about this is that these are kind of mirrored to the other side also. So our pH to hydroxide, our hydroxide concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So you're going to just substitute hydroxide for hydronium, pOH for pH, and get the same equation just for the other side. So that's if you're going from your pH or pOH out to the exterior for the concentration. If you're going from the concentration to pOH, so hydroxide to pOH, then your pOH is equal to the negative log of your hydroxide. And just like before, the equation is the same on the other side, except swap out pH or pOH for pH, and swap out hydroxide for hydronium. So those are the equations that you're going to be using for these problems. So now, let's say that we have a problem, and it gives us the hydronium concentration. It says we have 2.95 times 10 to the negative 2 as the concentration of hydronium. And then it says it wants us to find the pH, the pOH, and the hydroxide concentration. So it wants us to find everything for this problem. So just like train tracks, you can only go one direction or the other direction. So since we started with the hydronium concentration, the first thing we're going to have to do is go to pH. So if you're taking a look at those arrows, the arrows in one direction from hydronium to pH is that the pH is equal to the negative log of H+. plus. So we see the pH is equal to the negative log of our hydronium concentration, which is 2.95 times 10 to the negative 2. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So with your phone, when you open up your calculator app, the first thing you're going to see is a just standard calculator. So you're going to have to go in, unlock it so that you can turn it um, horizontally. And once you turn it horizontally, you'll see that you have a whole scientific calculator. So to plug this in, you're going to have to have that scientific calculator. Also, ignore the fact that my screen is bubbled up. So for this one, it's going to be very similar to using the TI-30XA. So make sure you are aware of that. So when you're doing this, you're going to do the concentration first. So you're going to say 2.95. And then instead of times 10 to the, you're just going to write that, push the EE key. So it's next to the 1 right there. You'll press EE or times 10 to the. And then 2 negative. So you have that whole thing. 
And then you can press equal or not. It doesn't super matter. So for this run, I'll say equals. So that is just that number right there. And then you'll press that log base 10 and then hit that negative key to get the pH, which is 1.53. So the pH is 1.53. So I'll do that one more time so you can see it. So again, we're going to type in this exponent first. So we're going to say 2.95 instead of times 10 to the, there's an E button and there's an EE. -E. We want that double E or that times 10 to the, 2 negative, enter. And then you're going to press that log base 10 right there, and then negative. So that is negative log of 2.95 times 10 to the negative 2, which is 1.53. Awesome. So now that we have the pH, we're able to move from pH all the way over to pOH, and we're now able to use that next equation. So pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So we plug in the pH we just got, 1.53 plus our pOH, which is our unknown, equal to 14. Subtract 1.53 from both sides to get that variable by itself. And for this one, 14 minus 1.53. And we get that the pOH is 12.47. Awesome. So for our next part, we see that we're moving from pOH to hydroxide. So check the arrow for the one that's moving out. So here's our equation for that. We're going to say... OH minus is equal to 10 to the power of a negative POH. So for that, we found our POH to be 12.47. So for this one, Again, you can have your normal calculator, like so. You're going to need to turn it horizontally once again so that you have that scientific calculator. Once you have that scientific calculator, this one's a little bit different as well. So you're going to plug in 12.47. Make sure you include that negative symbol. And then you're going to hit that button just above the log base 10, which is 10 to the x. And when you hit that, you get this number. So... Let's see if there's a way to turn it into scientific notation. Scientific notation. It is not looking like it. If you find a way to turn it into scientific notation on this calculator, go ahead and let me know, and I can post a uh, revised, revised update on that. Um, but as of now, I do not know a way to do that. Um, the one way that I do know how to do it is you don't have space if you turn it vertically. So after you get it, if you turn it back up to that vertical position, it gives it to you in scientific notation. So now it is 3.39 times 10 to the negative 13. So keep in mind that that E is times 10 to the. So if you just write 3.39 to the negative 13, that is not correct. It has to be times 10 to the negative 13. So let's do that one more time. So again, turn it horizontally. Type in that exponent first, so 12.47 negative, so negative 12.47, 10 to the power of that, and you get this number. You can either count out those zeros to get to 13, or you can turn your calculator vertically once again, and it will give it to you in scientific notation. So I went out to two decimal places. If you want to go further than that, that's totally fine, but that is normally about where I go. Awesome.